In a world where the 2011 seems to reign supreme in internet clout, does a CZ75-1911 hybrid stack up? Will it be a polished turd? Is this the 2011's worst nightmare? We're going to break it down into five key categories and give you everything you need to know on the Dan Wesson DWX in five minutes. When it comes to build quality, this thing is built like a tank. The slide feels like it's on bearings, just so freaking smooth, and nothing about it feels janky at all. This is one of the nicest all-metal guns that I've handled in a long time. Good, move. Move. Fucking love this gun. <laughs> that was your first magazine through it. That was literally the first time you've shot that gun. See, YouTube, I can shoot. <laughs> that was good, dude. Dude, this thing. Yeah. Five out of five for quality. Gideon Optics offers affordability with some really solid features in optics like the Mediator with its selectable reticle system, which is an enclosed optic meant to take a beating. The Omega with its huge 27 by 22 window, RMR footprint, and three MOA dot, or the Alpha, which has a 65 MOA circle around a three MOA dot. Again, in the common RMR footprint. To learn more, head over to gideonoptics.com and to make them even more affordable, use TGC at checkout. In the ergonomics category, this thing is almost perfect. My two biggest gripes are the rear of the mag release digging into my palm when shooting, and the slide release needs to be an extended version. I needed to break my grip or like use my support hand to release it. I also wish it had a good spot to put my forward support thumb like a gas pedal. I'm all about those things these days. These are nitpicky things, but you'll see why I expect better when we get to the value section. The grip shape is fantastic, and the grip texture is great as well. Four out of five for ergos. For features, this thing is actually kind of lacking. Besides the gas pedal I just mentioned, it's not cut for an optic as well. When this gun was originally announced back in, I don't know, 2020 or something? 21 maybe? That may have been okay, but now in 2023, it's unacceptable to not have an Opticut, especially on a slide similar to a 1911 and for that price point. It does come with two color matched 19 round mags, which are the same as the CZ P10F, and right, that's pretty well, neat. You know, what's really interesting is we've shot a lot of like metal frame guns lately, and this one is not getting hot back where the controls are. Like every other gun, I've like burnt my thumb, burnt my finger, or it's just really, really hot. I can feel it up here in the pick rail section, but like it's already cooling down from the table to here. Like, I don't know what's going on and why it's not getting that hot. It just isn't. Three out of five. For accuracy, being that this gun is heavy and easy as hell to control, it's again, fantastic. I was able to stack rounds into a very small space. One or two? Two. There's last two. That was it. Just walked in. All right, there's my fist for comparison. I got excited and started rushing, started spreading the group, but I stacked a good amount right in there. Yeah, you had eight, eight. That top group is eight rounds. So eight rounds up here around the purple and then two down there. I would say that's pretty damn good. This is bordering on as good of accuracy as I got with the Prodigy, which was one of the best I had shot. I think a little bit more time with this and uh, dialing myself in, maybe an optic, and I'd be really solid with this thing. Josh, once he got settled into the gun a little bit, also shot a decent group. Same hold point, keep shooting. All right, let's go look at it. All right, so 10 shot group, same distance. Uh, fist for comparison. That's a really solid group, dude. Yeah, I'll take it. Four out of five. Now, value. Like I hinted at, that's a sticking point. This gun carries an MSRP of two Gs. 
That is a lot of cash. It's missing the optic cut and a couple other small things. But otherwise, this gun is excellent. It shoots really, really well, and I'm going to have it cut for an optic very soon. So that kind of circle will be complete. Follow me on Instagram to see that. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 for value here. That brings the total score up to 19 out of 25.